During the 28th anniversary celebrations of the National Council for Higher Education at Kololo Ceremonial Grounds, the chairperson of the council, Professor Edi Katunguka, said the institutions are understaffed, especially in the Faculty of Engineering and Architecture. He says the public universities cannot retain or attract senior lecturers because they get more attractive remuneration packages in private institutions. For example, engineers, when they are paid as scientists, at senior lecturer and professorial level, they earn about 8 to 11 million per month. But when an engineer is working in the private sector, they are paid a lot more than that, or they earn that money in a few days. The National Council for Higher Education official asked President Museveni to order line departments and ministries to recruit technicians to manage science and engineering workshops as well as laboratories in higher institutions of learning. Your Excellency, when we have equipment without technicians, that equipment will not be used, but the worst thing that can happen, it will start disappearing one by one. President Yoweri Museveni re-echoed his idea for better pay for science lecturers in public universities to match the pay of their counterparts in the private sector. For salary for scientists, our scientists, our if they are scientists, they must be paid for the government universities. They must be paid what they will be paid in the private sector. Janet Museveni, the Minister of Education and Sports, has called upon the National Council for Higher Education to address the quality of education in higher institutions of learning, especially in science and technology programs. Because sometimes we tend to give excuses. If the quality of some education uh, institutions are not good, we start to give excuses of the fact that that is a private university. But that should not make any difference in our universities, whether public or private. The council says there is a need to regulate admission into institutions of higher education through the establishment of a central admission system responsible for coordinating admissions. According to the council, currently some universities admit students not qualified for academic programs they are enrolled for. So even those, once a, a program, I mean, a student is enrolled in a program that is not uh, accredited, their qualifications are not recognized. In 20 years, National Council of Higher Education has accredited and is overseeing 265 higher institutions of learning. In addition, nearly 5,000 academic and professional programs have been accredited, with a student enrollment of more than 270,000 students. Nobat, Atkunda, NTV, tonight.